Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dragonfly Todd here, coming at you with the sixth edition of the game news episodes. Uh, first thing I'm gonna start off with is No Man's Sky. And so, after the the launch and the release of the Pathfinder update, people have been finding different stuff in the in the uh, patch files and everything. That whenever you go into the game, they've been exploring that. And there is actually a little thing that might lead to third person camera view so this could mean two things this could either be <clears throat> just a ship ship third person control or this could also mean that you will have a character model and a character model is something really cool because I've always wanted to see what my character looks like in No Man's Sky but obviously they probably haven't even put a character model in the game they just cut it out whatever because it's not multiplayer anyway right so we don't need to see it anyhow speculation is that the update for No Man's Sky will release around this summer. I'm not going to say exactly when because I'm not sure. But yeah, speculation says so this summer. You guys should be seeing an update from No Man's Sky. And then this will probably be, I watched MZK, MZK's video over the updates and everything. If you want to go watch his full videos about the No Man's Sky stuff, you can go check him out. And basically, it just says like that there's going to be a combat update, and they're going to focus on different things, and they, and, you know, the audio files and all that, just uh, the uh, third-person camera stuff that I told you guys about a second ago. That will most likely be in the update that is coming soon, or maybe the next update after this one. Next up on the list is I'm going to kind of talk about Bethesda and E3. So. Bethesda unveiled Fallout 4 recently at the last E3 or the one before that. I'm not sure. I forgot actually. But yes, they really uh, they released a video of Fallout 4. So will we see another Elder Scrolls game? That's what I want to know. Updated graphics. Graphics almost as good as Fallout 4, or maybe even better. Hopefully, a lot better. And maybe even uh, we can go back to Morrowind for this one. Uh, what do you think guys put it down in the comments? What do you think Bethesda's got in under their sleeve? Have you guys seen the recent rumors? Uh, if you have go ahead and put those in the comments section below Next up on the list. I wanted to talk about vestige of the past So I kind of had a small theory about this the other day while I was you know just laying down thinking about video games right before I went to bed I was thinking, what if Vestige of the Past is it set in an alternate universe? As you know on the website, it says that it's basically a game with a familiar but very alternate, keyword alternate, or odd place and time. So this could lead to, you know, different things where you could maybe speculate that it'll be an alternate universe, or maybe it'll just be in the past, Vestige of the Past. This game is very intriguing to think about and I will definitely be putting more over this game on my channel. And if you guys want to see some more updates on the game such as features and stuff, I'll make a feature video. Just put it down in the comment section below and let's get on to the next one. So right now I kind of wanted to end it off with a couple identity, <sighs> identity, a couple of identity suggestions. So basically I think that you should be able to put audio files into your car and this would be cool because you could be bumping the new Kendrick album you know what I'm saying like in your car and people would hear it and stuff like that and also I think it would be really cool if you could put in earbuds maybe if you got that one kid instead of uh instead of muting people you can maybe put in earbuds to block out some kid that's spamming in the voice message chat obviously you could kill him tie him up and put him in your uh in your house but you don't have to do that. You can just put in earbuds and keep it on the legal side. I think that would be a really cool idea. And that's a little bit about music and identity because I think music interaction and, you know, going to the movies with people is going to be a big part of the game, like the radio, the smart radio. I think I think that stuff's going to be really cool. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and leave us a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave your boy a subscribe and come back for the next video because I got some stuff planned. See you guys in the next one. Peace.